for the thousands and tens and the millions watching around the world. Tonight, 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 we are going to witness the most, the most we are going to anticipated match in history. The most, we are going to witness, we are going to witness tonight, tonight. For my fight, I'm training very hard, almost six days a week, doing conditioning, boxing, you know, not being able to eat certain things because you always have to make weight, just trying to stay focused and, you know, just busting my ass. My name is Sonia Lamonicus. I'm a heavyweight fighter. I have seven wins, one loss, and two draws. And when I was living in Springfield, where I was teaching, I was, I was jumped, and I didn't know how to defend myself. So when I had gone to the gym a week later that I was training at Gold's Gym in West Springfield, I had told my friend what happened, and she's like, you know, you should learn how to defend yourself. You should try boxing. So I went down to the South End Community Center in Springfield, and fell in love with the sport and my first trainer Victor James just introduced me to it and I took my first fight three months later and that was it. It was all positive after that. I box for the love of the sport, for the, the discipline it's given me how it's changed me as a person, how it's made me a stronger person, and helped my character and helped me with my anger and just changed my life 100%. Fire has been my teammate for many years. We uh, met at a national tournament in Washington and I joined her team, which was Team Freeform back in the day. And I used to train with her and then we took a little break from each other, not from each other, but from different teams. And then we got back in and now we're training with the same trainer, which is Marco Suarez. And, her and I both won the Golden Gloves four times and we've just maintained a great relationship and now we work together here at Gleason's and we co-commentate together on, on Go Fight Live and our, our Ustream for Gleason's so we have a really good friendship. My name is Keisha McLeod Wells aka Fire and my professional record is 6 and 2. I have been boxing for 10 years now. I also work at Gleason's Gym, I run and manage the gym and I do my jewelry. I have my own uh, business, it's called The Fire, The Box and Diva, and I make earrings and necklaces, rings, out of material, leather pieces. I uh, started acting um, when I was probably about 16. That's how I started boxing, because I was auditioning for the role of the Terminator in Terminator 2 when they were looking for the female Terminator, and they thought I was a bit too wavy, like skinny, um, bony. And they thought that if I got some muscle, it will give me another chance of um, considering me for a role. So I went to the gym, so I just if I hit the bag and bulk up in just that area alone, then, you know, I would get a better shot at the role. For the thousands and tens and the millions watching around the world, tonight, 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 we are going to witness the most, the most my purpose of being in a room with Veronica is because I support her and she is one of my best friends and I just wanted to be there because I got her back. Tansy, me and Tansy. But wasn't Tansy supposed to be there? Yeah, she was supposed to be there. She talking about she was she was moody. You know, once she said she wanted to be and be a part of this and then she said she doesn't. So I told her, I said, look, don't waste my time for everybody else's time. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do it. Forget it. Right. You know? I think she's, like, in between. Like, she doesn't really know what she wants to do. She don't know what she wants to do. But she needs to stop saying, oh, I'm going to come back to the gym. She said she's going to come back to the gym.
gonna start trading once a week. Once a week? What do you think? But if you call her, she was calling out the number one girl. She feels very strongly about the whole Sonia and Tansy uh, dilemma. After she um, lost to Sonia, that was it. She never It's crazy. It's crazy like when you beat somebody and then they come in and they beat you. And then it's like, oh my God. There's something, something's not clicking for her. I think Tansy have mental issues. I sparred with a lady, and that was it from then. I was hooked. That's when the passion started. I think Sonya really ended her career and put her in retirement. Because ever since Sonya got in her ass, she ain't come back to the gym. She hasn't fought. She just became a different person. And that's not cool. speaking to a few of the members in the gym, the coaches and whatnot, and they did say that they're gonna have um, some tickets set aside for all of us. Coach, I said, I said, I'm not gonna see you guys, so I said, well, get tickets what, from me. What should me. have your name on the list long time? Well, I don't know if they do. And I wanna figure this out, because I wanna get in there. I didn't drive all this way for them to take 200 bucks out of my pocket. This fight between Sonia and I, definitely has to take place and it was meant to take place. <laughs>